take a trip. Pass some water. Pass some trees. Wait, don't you dare pass that. Pinch yourself, because this has happened. And it might not ever happen again. Well, not like this. Because this kind of trip happens only in Minnesota. Justin Gard has uh, more info on a developing situation involving the head coach. The Golden Gophers will have a lot on their mind today in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Their head coach will not be on the sidelines this afternoon. Do we miss the guy? Hell yes, we do. You know, I love the guy, and uh, uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to tell you, our players... You, you watch them come out, how they play for Jerry. Pretty much a life-changing moment, I would say. Jerry was at his lowest probably in his life at that point and just trying to figure out what to do and, you know, for pretty much about 10 days, I mean, it was, you just didn't know how things were going to go. I'm trying to help a football program out. Uh, to build it and it takes time, it takes a lot of energy and sometimes you don't sleep as well and you skip a meal or two and that can get you in trouble and uh, in my situation it has to be, happens to be seizures. It has changed our life and it made you put things in perspective but yes it, not only did it change the football program but it changed our lives as well. <laughs> Beck and I appreciate the, the turnout and what uh, you know we want to talk about and, and we're announcing today is that we're partnering up with uh, the Epilepsy Foundation and with that you know we're going to partner up and uh, start the, um, the found that or the fund uh, with them it's called Chasing Dreams Fund uh, this is a little bit hard for coach. Usually things aren't, but uh, chasing dreams with Coach Kill. And, uh, you know, it's a, a fun that what we want to do, and uh, really Travis has been a part of uh, the very start of it, is we want to get in every single school in the state of Minnesota and educate them on how to handle seizures in the schools. You know, you look at yourself and then you look at all the young people that struggle and we lose a lot of young people. A lot of people don't understand from seizures. Uh, we've, you know, you can die from that. We've had three or four in our state this year. And uh, so people aren't aware of that. Uh, same with, uh, you, you go to the children's hospital, I'll give you a wake up call. You know, with Jerry's, you know, doing what he's doing and being able to make the money that he makes, we can also help more people with that. And I just feel like you're, you know, Nobody's going to know what I did, you know, every day, my normal day, daily routine, but they'll remember both of us for what we've done to help other people. And that's what we're put here, here on earth for. We're on the stage that we can do that. And uh, so that's what we decided to do. And uh, we've been fortunate to have good people work with us. It's not just about us. It's about people working with us to help those uh, dreams come true, so to speak, for people. You're not going to change Coach Keel. Um, like I said, you know, he, he, he came back and, you know, it was like he had never been gone. Throughout last year, even when he had the health issues, and ever since then, I think he's the same guy. He's always intense, brings it every day, always has the juice out on the field trying to keep us going. And, you know, Coach Kill's that leader that we all fall back on. All he wants is that he wants, you, he wants to know that you're working as hard as he is and that you're giving everything you got. And as long as you're doing that, He's, he's, he's with you 100%. Just the way he carries himself and the things he expects from our team, which is good for us. And I mean, he holds us accountable. He's not gonna settle for anything less. So, I mean, the intensity and the fire is still there. And I mean, just like any of us, he just wants to win and we just wanna win. I think just 
just being there to help these young men, I think, is what makes him what makes him go. Even even players that have good, solid home lives, he's still that father figure away from home to where you don't want to disappoint him, you don't want to upset him, you don't want to let him down. Going and working to the last minute, and never you know, never giving up, playing hard, everything, all that came from coach. You know, he had us grinding hard every day, and and, and that and that took me a long way. Well, I think I've had a perspective on football uh, from uh, seven, eight years ago. And so, I, you know, I got a perspective then. And, uh, you know, I understand things and what's important. It's not an easy job, but I would say that I love that man. I am so blessed and so grateful to be married to him. Well, each year, you know, is a different year, and you bring young men in, new young men, and they have to, to join the, the positive culture that you have. And uh, I think the team's done a great job in the summer. I'm so proud of our older kids. They've done a great job of teaching our new ones. And uh, as they all say, they're a lot farther along than the young men that were in here last year. And that's because of our kids. I think the biggest thing that excites us is everything we've asked these young men to do on the offensive side of the ball over the last six or eight months they've done. Uh, they, they really took ownership. To be honest with you, that's really carried over to fall camp. Uh, we're, we're so much further along in what we can do with the guys because of the work they put in. One thing we try to do defensively is we do play a lot of kids each year and, and uh, not that there's a group that gets the majority of the reps, but I think that's one that, that helps uh, uh, replace seniors when they graduate as kids have already played in the games. We do have a lot of kids who've played well in the Big Ten and I'll be disappointed when the year's over if we haven't had a year that's better than what we did the previous year and, and uh, that, that's quite a challenge for the kids but I think they're looking forward to it. I enjoyed my time on the boundary last year but uh, you know I'm most comfortable in the box and and that's the way we're used to operating as a staff, and so uh, we'll, we'll go back to, to the way we're used to operating. It, it's worked well in the past, and there, there's no sense in changing that now. I think from a calling play standpoint, it's much easier in the box than making decisions, but uh, when you've been on the field and you see most head coaches on the field, it's more about uh, communicating with the players and making sure they keep their composure and uh, they want to see the head coach down there. Let's go, team. Let's go. Let's go. Each season is different and we expect to continue to get better. Our schedule is very difficult and uh, we're going to have to do one more than everybody else. We're going to have to work hard and uh, maybe a little bit harder. And we're going to be in close games. We've got to find a way to win them. And uh, we, we can't worry about who we play. We play them one game at a time. And uh, we talk about brick by brick, you know, putting those bricks down. you got to work hard. I've never known anybody that's a brick player that hadn't worked hard. So it's all about hard work. I can give you all these fancy lines and everything like that, but the bottom line is hard work. <laughs>